This time we're taking a look at a secret oscillator inside the pocket operator modular 170 and the 400. So this can be done just as well on the 400, but we're going to demonstrate it on the 170, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to use our filter as an oscillator. And how are we going to do that, you ask me? Well, let's see. First, connect the output to the VCA in. Nothing happens. Now we're going to increase the resonance of the filter to max. Be careful, a word of the advice. I have my frequency pretty low, so you don't hurt your ears. Start with it pretty low, right almost in the middle somewhere, and increase the resonance to max and see what happens. Ooh, now we have a tone. The resonance peaks the cutoff of the filter so much that it becomes an oscillator. Cool, huh? So now we can tune it. And we can do just as we would with the oscillator. We can use our envelope to control it via the keyboard. And we can control the pitch of this oscillation using the control inputs on the filter. So I'm going to turn that to max and see how, how that will sound. I'll lower this a little bit. And now... Whoop. Ooh, cool. It's a little wonky on the tuning. So we're in experimental land right now. We're in avant-garde space. Stanley Kubrick kind of vibes, okay? We're not gonna... You're not gonna play Beethoven on this. Uh, eight octaves. You get a, a few experimental, nice, happy accident tones. And that's what modular is all about. And I love it. Embrace it, children. Embrace it, okay? Let's put the square into the filter. And then we have to tune them. So for this instance, maybe we should uh, take away the envelope trigger on the control, actually. Right there. And we can go back to letting the envelope control the VCA. Feel like we're floating in space yet? I'm afraid I can't do that, Hal. Sweet. Yes. All right. Right now, the square isn't getting any pitch information. It's just droning. Creating different, almost chords. It's variations. Uh... Perfectly fine, but you could, if you wanted, send it a, a CV as well and see what happens. Same as I said before, this will track a lot better than the filter will, so it will get weird, but embrace it, okay? Sweet! Now start experimenting. Now you can build your patch, you can modulate things. Let's modulate this, the square. You can modulate the filter or whatever, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Find your ideas. Try them out. This is a very cool technique that you can do as well on the 400 system. So don't be afraid to try it out there as well. Alright. Thank you so much for checking this episode out.